It's fairly well known that the stock market averages about 10% in the long run, but how often do you actually get 10% returns on your stocks? That's what I'm thinking about. So it's, it's fairly common if you ask people out on the street if, or if you pay attention a little bit to market performance, like how, how, how do stocks perform over time? A lot of you'll hear, you know, 10% is a good number or is a good guess. And if you take a look back, there's reliable data going back to about 1926. And that's about the last 100 years or so. That's about what the stock market has averaged. And so as we think about that and think about, hey, if you that means if you have a million dollars invested in the stock market, right, you expect you get about $100,000 a year, right? 10% of a million is 100000 So, hey, great, I'm going to get $100,000 a year return. However, when you take a look at how the individual years go, right, we've all been through up 20%, down 20%, that sort of thing, the actual experience on a year-to-year -year basis can be really different. And uh, Dimensional Funds came out with a really great piece here. We'll pull it up that shows, here's the numbers going back, you can see on the bottom, back to 1926. And of course, the gray bars up and down here, that's what the S&P 500 return was for those individual years. And as you take a look across from left to right, that green bar going across, that's 10% plus or minus two. So that's the that bar shows between eight and 12%. And then those, uh, those sort of turquoise colored bars, we got all the gray bars are the S&P 500 returns. Those turquoise ones are the ones that fell something close to 10% or within that 4% gap. Right, so you take a look across, so there's six of those turquoise bars. Out of 98 years of experience, the market averages over those 98 years 10%, but only six times has the actual return for that year been even within two percentage points of 10%. Right? Think about that. Think about what a diverse frame of reference that is, what a diverse set of numbers is. Hey, I th expect I'm going to get 10%. And when we look out over 10 and 15 and 20 years, like, yep, that's what we expect to get. But in any one year, the chances of actually getting about 10% are really, really small, like in the single digits, at least historically speaking, right? And that can be really useful is, you know, what, what can we do with this? I'm all about taking action on things. And what it helps me to do anyway is to think about, yes, we're going to average 10%, but in any one year, I don't expect to get 10%, right? To not have that expectation that each year that's what it looks like can be really helpful. And especially in those years when the markets are down, to take a look over on the right-hand side there, we've seen markets down as much as 43%, right? Of course, that's a lot scarier than when it's up 54%. We like those. But it's also when we have those good years, right? Hey, the market's up 25%. Isn't that awesome? Well, hey, that's not all our money to keep, right? We're going to get something like 10% long term. And conversely, when it goes down 20 or 30 or 40% or 40 it's, hey, not all is lost. We're going to average 10% long term. And just looking at how different the actual year by year experiences are compared to what that long term average is can be really helpful. So that's what I'm thinking about. As always, I'm interested in knowing what you're thinking about. If you're watching this on YouTube, jot a comment in the comment box or shoot me an email directly. And as always, thanks for watching.